In this video, I will be going over three ways to help you win the buy box when selling on Amazon. Whether you are a new seller on Amazon's platform, whether you're doing FBM, FBA, or even if you're a seasoned seller, at the end of the day, it does not matter what way you're selling on Amazon or how long you have been if you have the most competitive pricing out there. At the end of the day, the buy box, of course, is gonna be shared, and we'll go more into this later on in the video, but I just have to get this out of the way at the beginning of the video, because it's pretty obvious that if you have literally the most competitive pricing, you're gonna win the buy box majority of the time, if not all the time. If you go in there and you're able to literally sell something, for a you know 25% margin and everyone else is priced another two, three, four dollars above you. At the end of the day, you're just gonna win the buy box more. It's pretty common sense. But I just wanted to get that right out of the way because it's, it's a very simple thing to go over that I know most people are gonna understand. But I now want to get into the more complicated things so that way you can help yourself actually win the buy box more when you are actually competing with people with competitive pricing. Because reality is that's probably gonna most likely be the case for you unless you are a very big seller on the platform who get unbelievable deals because you're able to negotiate and buy a ton in bulk. So the second thing I want to go over is having a good repricing software. Now there's so many different repricing softwares out there. And majority of them are very good but at the end of the day it's obviously very important that you get a repricing software that's actually going to produce results for you and make sure that it does exactly what you set it to inside the settings now we use street repricer there's so many different type of repricers out there at the end of the day they all basically do the same thing it's just you have to find what one performs the best for you now i know it's just another software where you're gonna have to spend 50 60 70 80 dollars a month depending on how many products you have in your store it is just something you will need like absolutely without even a question because if you don't have a repricing software there's no way you're going to get a lot of buy box wins unless you have the best pricing on the market which chances are on amazon you probably don't the reason why i don't want to get too much more into the repricing software is because there's tons of videos out there we've even posted some in the past going over what we use and how to use it but at the end of the day just make sure you get set up on a repricing software because it's the most important part to probably your amazon fba business now when it comes to winning the buy box the third tip i want to go over is one that's a little bit more complicated and a little bit harder to understand it took kyle and i a good amount of time to fully start to understand this understand how buy boxes work understand how to actually you know estimate the correct amount of sales that a listing is roughly doing because at the end of the day with all these predictions it still does not mean that you're gonna win the buy box you know 50% of the time, if that's what you predict, you could win at 30, you could win at 60. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you get the best rough estimate to help you make a good educated guess on what you're buying. So far, the biggest thing that I found outside of Amazon being on a listing, I found that other sellers that dominate the buy box, you know, 60, 70, 80% of the time, usually because one, they have competitive pricing. They also have an account that's seasoned. They have more reviews. And also the biggest key factor here is mainly how often you stay in stock on this item. Now, in basic terms, what I mean, if you have, you know, say one listing and for example, it is, you know, a Colgate toothpaste. If you stay in stock on that item at all times at a very competitive price and say over time you win 30, 40, 50% of the buy box, as long as you stay in stock at that competitive price, you'll slowly keep winning more and more and be able to dominate more of that buy box. Over time, you'll find yourself obviously having, you know, maybe 60, 70, 80% of the sales. But as soon as you go out of stock, that's when things can get messed up a little bit. So at the end of the day, the biggest key to actually dominating a buy box that is very competitive is being on the listing at a competitive price for a long time. And it also, of course, does help when you do have a seasoned account. Now, if someone goes in there at a cheaper price and you just can't compete with them, then obviously it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they're just going to win the buy box, you know, a lot more. But if you want the best chance at this, you need to just make sure that you are doing that and stay in stock at all times. Now, a bonus thing to throw in here that might be able to help any beginners learn this. I know people that are more, you know, seasoned at selling on the platform, they're going to know this also that it also depends where you ship these items to. Now, for an example, if you're doing FBA, and I'm in Massachusetts and I send my inventory to New Jersey, then basically the East Coast is where my products will actually go to and I'll be able to win the buy box more in the East Coast. And that's because, you know, they're going to be able to have two to three days shipping, if not faster. Now, if say for an example, someone in California is on the listing, 
they're probably not going to win the buy box as much as we will even if they're at competitive pricing just because of course amazon wants to faster ship into this customer now if amazon makes you put you know 100 units into a new jersey fulfillment center and then they make you put you know 100 units into a california center then at the end of the day there's a good chance you're going to win the buy box just as much so you have to just make sure you understand that wherever you're sending these products to if there's a customer buying colgate toothpaste in say massachusetts there's a good chance I'll be able to win that buy box a little bit more. Of course, unless someone is, has such good pricing where it just doesn't even matter. So it's always rotating. And that's when it comes down to is making sure you do the right calculations on how much a product sells. If it sells 100% of the time and you believe you'll only win the buy box 20, 30, 40, maybe let's for example say 50% of the time, then you want to buy 50 items because you'll know you'll sell out of that within a month. Now maybe some people might recommend buying two months just so that you can you know always stay in stock and be competitive then i would also probably say that's a good idea and i would recommend it because when we're making our purchase we like to do two months exactly if not if we find that we can only win the bo buy box 20 percent of the time then we'll buy two months worth of about 20 percent and that way if we are a little bit wrong and say we win at 10 percent of the time we'll still sell out over the three months so we don't get hit with storage fees so that's how we kind of predict you know how often we're able to win the buy box and how often it's rotating how many units we should buy because at the end of the day all this you know very much matters if you want to be successful on amazon if you found this video helpful please make sure to smash the like button also subscribe turn on post notifications and with that being said make sure you guys have a good rest of your day